Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about how do you take a side view of a car and make a three-quarter front and a three-quarter back view. So I'm gonna start off with uh, just a very, you know, sci-fi looking van. Nothing super fancy. I'll draw my wheels. I might give it some, some body lines. But just I'm gonna focus on the basic shape of this car. And what I'll do is I'll make a copy of this car. I'll make two copies by hitting Command J to make a duplicate and Command J again. So this first copy here, we're just gonna look at it. It's gonna be our side view. And then the first copy that I've made here, I'll call this uh, three quarter front. So I'm gonna move this guy over here. And then this copy over here will be called three quarter back. And I'm gonna do two different techniques that are similar, but it'll help us figure out how to draw a three quarter front and three quarter back view. So the trick is this. Um, let's tackle the three quarter front view first. Command T. And then you're gonna right click and choose perspective. And what I can do now is I can extend the, whoop, extend the perspective just by pulling the corner out like so, and you can see that I've got a three-quarter front perspective. It's not a true three-quarter front perspective uh, because we still have to fill in the front and there's some corrections that we have to make on the tires, but this gives us a good starting point. Now, how do we actually um, determine what the front is gonna look like? Well, I'll show you the first option. This is the option that I use. If we understand what vanishing points are, and I've covered this in a few of my videos, you can infer that by just simply sketching, right? And we have this vanishing point going off the page somewhere. And what I can do is I can simply draw uh, the parts that are missing here. If we have a bumper, we can extend the bumper and have some overlap. We can have the windshield, and then we can start to draw the other elements in there. So I'll just go ahead and draw, let's just say some lights and a grill. And what I mentioned before about the fact that this is not a, you know, a total, totally correct three quarter front view, it's because it's what's throwing it off are the tires. And what we want to keep in mind, and I'll just, let me just chop off the tires here and let's have a, a sidebar. The sidebar here is when you're looking at tires in a three quarter front view, the side of the wall of the tire that's closest to the viewer is going to appear to be thicker than the side of the wall that's facing away from the viewer. So if this is like the, the tire, this is what it'll be. And the problem with what we had before was that even though we had a three quarter front view, the distance on either side, on either wall was the same and it just looks off, right? So um, it's a subtle, subtle thing to keep in mind, but it is something that you do want to be aware of. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then there's gonna be some thickness on the tires here. And then we might just go ahead and draw uh, a shadow underneath just to go ahead and you know finish this guy out so there's the three-quarter front view of our truck so let's just merge those layers together and just move it off to the side if I want to do a three-quarter back I'm going to show you a different way what if drawing these lines is somewhat challenging what if you want a better way or a more accurate way to uh, represent the vanishing point for the other side. Well, let's, go, let's start off by using the transform tool, command T, perspective. This time I'm gonna take the back end. I'm just gonna go ahead and tilt it like this, just kind of basically move it down, right? You can see how the thickness of the wheels are about equivalent, so let's just go ahead and let's just get rid of that. And this time what we're gonna do is on a new layer, we're just gonna draw a series of lines. And I know that there's some 
uh, residue that you can see where there are some small diagonal lines. I'm not really going to worry about that too much. But the, the trick is that I'm going to take those lines and I'm going to use my perspective tool. And first, let's just go ahead and kind of angle it in like this, right? And just move it into position. And once I'm happy with that, I can just hit enter to confirm. And I'll make a new layer and I'll draw the back side of my van. And what's really nice about this, if I drop the opacity on this, I can go to town by drawing whatever elements I need. If I want to throw in some lights, I can do that. If I want to have a bumper that wraps around the back, I can do that. Now the tires, sometimes like in this case, I don't think the tires are as oval as I want them. So I'm just going to actually go one step ahead and just redraw this. I might actually see some of that wheel well. And then put some lines here just to go ahead and indicate the relative thickness. So the side facing the viewer is thicker than the side that is not. And at this point, I can go ahead and throw down some shadows. You may or may not see that back wheel, and that's okay. So I've got a three-quarter front, and I've got a three-quarter back view. I'll just scale that down. And this is not a substitute for being able to actually draw a car in proper perspective freehand without digital tricks. But this is a huge time saver. If you're doing any kind of like say storyboarding or something where you have to crank out um, a drawing fairly quick, this is definitely uh, a go-to technique that I use. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Uh, I welcome your feedback and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.